Boxing's often a game of numbers. On June 1st, live on the zone, the two best light heavyweights on the planet will finally meet to decide who is number one, Artur Baturbiev or Dmitry Bivol. On the undercard, 10 more of the best fighters on planet Earth will meet in an historic competition between rival promoters. Frank Warren versus Eddie Hearn, Queensbury versus Matram, five versus five. Today, we find out who those 10 fighters are. So we've got a big fight. We've got uh, four belts on the line. Um, very rarely did this, does this happen. We've got one, obviously, a few weeks before with a heavyweight division. Then we're, we're in... So then we're in the light heavyweight division with uh, two superb fighters, both undefeated. I think they're both 20, 20 wins each, so somebody's O will go, as they say. Um, and me as a fight fan and a bit of a neutral as far as the, the two guys are concerned, I can't wait to see it. This is something extra, extra special. And again, take our hats off to top rank and to Matram, who, who worked very hard to make this happen. It's brilliant. And I didn't see this fight happening without an intervention from somebody. And um, as I said, His Excellency made it happen. These are two tremendous fighters, two world champions. In every division, we should look to find an undisputed champion. It tells you who the very best is. And Frank's right, you know, um, Arta Betabiev has, of course, beaten Anthony Yard. He beat Callum Johnson, who we put in with him many years ago. Callum did drop him. He beat Callum Smith as well. And Dimitri Bivol beat Craig Richards um, and beat Lyndon Arthur as well. And I just feel that this man to my left, as Vadim says, his boxing IQ is on another level. And it needs to be against, as Todd said, you know, one of the most dangerous men in the sport of boxing. Of course, I'm happy uh, because when I signed the contract to be a pro boxer, uh, I had a goal to be an undisputed champion. And everything what I went through, it was... Uh, it was to my goal. I, I made it to get my goal. Even the fight against Canelo, which uh, Eddie mentioned, it was my ticket, ticket for big fights. And now um, I'm happy that I will have fight on June 1st for all of belts. You can see the belt there, the belt that you've wanted for so long, Arta. Since 2017, you wanted to keep collecting the belts. How do you feel seeing it there and going into this fight? I see another belt. And what about Dimitri Pivol? <laughs> Thank you, Arta, <laughs> terrorizing me. Um, do you just see just another opponent? I mean, this is an unbeaten champion. Yeah, like you say, I'm collecting belts and I need one more. Thank you very much. I, I just wonder, do you have a message for Dimitri Bivol now that he's here? He know already. Dimitri, uh, Arta yeah. Baturbiev says that you know already. What is it that you know? I don't know already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. I, sh I tell you, you know. For sure. Now, before we get into it, I want to break down some of the rules of this 5v5 because we have a bespoke set. Now, both Frank and Eddie had the chance to pick two weight divisions each for their fighters to be contested in. And the final weight category was picked by His Excellency, Turkey al Sheikh. Now, we're going to find out very, very soon who will be representing Team Matram and Team Queensbury. Now, the rules are a little bit different here. We're going to get one point for a decision win. We're going to get two points for a ref stoppage or TKO. A draw is no points. And as a kicker, both captains' scores will be doubled, and Eddie and Frank are going to pick their captains, so it's better to go for broke. I think it's time, Josh. Well, Frank Warren has picked the heavyweight division. Would Frank Warren's heavyweight pick please take off their mask? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former British Commonwealth and WBA regular heavyweight champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. Will the match from heavyweight pick please remove his mask? Philippe El Animal Hardgovic! Will the matchroom featherweight please now take their mask off? 
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the reigning, defending WBA World Featherweight Champion, Raymond Savage Ford. And now it's time for the Queensbury Featherweight to remove his mask again. We don't know who it is. Nick the Wrecking Ball. Okay, let's continue now. Promoter Frank Warren has picked the middleweight division. Will the Queensbury middleweight please remove their mask? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the reigning Commonwealth and WBC silver middleweight champion, Hamza Shirak! It's now time for his opponent on June 1st. We ask the matchroom middleweight to please remove your mask. Introducing the former standout amateur sensation and reigning IBF North American middleweight champion, Austin Amo Williams. Okay, well, promoter Eddie Hearn has selected the light heavyweight division. Will the matchroom light heavyweight please remove your mask? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Craig Spider-Richards! Well, let's meet his June 1st opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former world amateur champion, Willie the Hutch Train Hutchinson! Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the final pick, His Excellency has chosen for there to be another fight in the marquee division of boxing in the heavyweight division. Will the Queensbury pick please remove your mask? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Gilet Big Bang Zhang. Will the matchroom heavyweight pick please remove your mask? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former long-reigning WBC World Heavyweight Champion, the Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder! I'm going to come to you, Eddie, first. Who is going to be your captain? Who, if he scores, a Tico, two points, a win, one point, ref's decision. So that's going to be double bubble. It's going to, it's going to count for twice as much. Eddie, who is your captain going to be? Yeah, I mean, this, this format, the captain's pick is very important because double the points, it could be the difference between winning and losing. We've got a fantastic team. I'm very proud of all of them. Today, I looked them all in the eye and I looked into the souls and I wanted to make sure this guy who I pick as captain will bring absolutely everything. And the matchroom captain for June the 1st is the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Frank, who's your captain, the captain of Queensbury? He's been here from day one. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal fighter. And I love watching him in the ring. And he's, uh, he's, his last couple of performances, he's done everything you could ask him in absolute style. So, as you've guessed, the captain is Hamza Shiraz. <laughs> Honestly, though, it, what an incredible announcement. Five versus five. Remember it, June 1st, live on the zone. Paterbio versus Bivol. We've seen some of the names. Zhang versus Wilder. Dubois versus Hergovic. Nick Ball versus Raymond Ford. On and on and on and on. It's been an incredible performance. It's been an incredible press conference. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from Barry. Goodbye from Darren. Goodbye from all of us.